The Mimo is actually a wearable baby monitor. So it's a little onesie that a baby wears. Um, it's got two sensors on the front and a little turtle that it clips into the side. And it shows a mom or a dad their baby's breathing, skin temp, body position. Are they on their tummy? Are they on their back? They're awake or asleep. You can set alerts to let you know if the baby rolls over, if they wake up, um, if there's a pause in breathing, if they're unusually warm or cool. And then we can show you a timeline and sort of deeper insights into what the baby's sleep is actually looking like and how it's developing and evolving over time. Why would I possibly want to know all of that? Our actual goal is to help be able to figure out how to help households sleep more and to sleep better. Households. Households. So uh, if a baby's sleeping, then usually parents are sleeping. When I told people about this story, the first reaction everybody has is, my God, where is it going to stop? Wearables and putting technology on children. So why in the world would you be slapping technology on your kid? I think that's a great question. And actually, when I first heard about Mimo, I thought the same thing. But then I had a kid. And as a first time parent, you come home from the hospital and the fear and the paranoia set in and you say, oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing. And so having the MIMO to give you some feedback on critical pieces of data is, if nothing else, reassuring you that you're keeping your kid happy and alive and healthy. What type of data has been the most interesting to you? The breathing, especially in the beginning, was nice. One of the things that nobody prepared me for when I brought an infant home from the hospital is how irregular their breathing actually is. You hear it and you kind of start to panic and say, is there something wrong? But having the MIMO kind of tell you he's breathing, it's regular, it's fine. That's a really, really helpful feature. At this point, now that he's three and a half months old and starting to roll over, it's actually really good to know, get that alert, whether he's rolled over or not at night, because it's very important that he stays on his back to prevent SIDS and some other catastrophes that can happen to an infant. So it sounds like it may be better for parents than it is for babies. I think it's just as good for parents as it is for babies. <laughs>